Hey guys, Frank here, DIY engineer. I have uh, just popped this uh, 36 volt Black & Decker lawnmower and I'm gonna give this a go. I think the batteries are probably worn on it, um, but we'll see. I'm gonna go ahead and try to mow my yard and see if I can get um, what kind of life I get out of them. So let's, uh, I'm gonna go and mow a bit and then we'll see how long it lasts. I got quite a bit of grass to cut and then I'll show you afterwards. Volts are green. It said it had a full charge, so so there's the battery. All right, so I hooked into the battery case here, 36 volt, and it's currently reading. Let's see if I can backlit it. Can't really see it. It's 30, 39.8. Uh, what's interesting about this? Is this looks like this is just using standard Anderson connector so when the battery drops in there it just connects right in so let's give it a shot okay observations while I'm mowing it seems to be pretty quiet which is nice um, it's still pretty heavy as compared to my gas mower so it's still a little bit of a workout but I think that's just because of the lead acid you can see that the uh, clippings aren't being caught by the bag. That might be because it's wet or the blade isn't sharp enough. So those are some things I probably need to work on. Is sharpening the blade and uh, I'm definitely thinking I'm going to need a new battery. It's not sounding near as powerful as it was when I first started. But the grass is pretty long and it rained yesterday so it's a little bit damp and I think that plays into it as well. well after about 30 minutes of mowing um, that doesn't look too bad but there are areas where the grass is still long. Um, I think it's because the tires were pushing stuff down, which is surprising with the mower being as light as it is. But part of that, I think I need to sharpen the blade and see about uh, how it works. I'm actually surprised that the battery was able to last for my front yard and it's actually sounding kind of tired right now. And I'm, I'm only about halfway down with my lawn, so the front yard. What I'm looking at here is it's down to 36.7 so it's still within its range still has some juice left in it which is kind of surprising so we'll continue on mowing and see how long it lasts. Um, all right so I just completed the one of my side yards and we're down to 35.2 so now it's below the 36 and probably approaching it just sounds really weak and I didn't do a whole lot I mean it's just this little bit right here so now we'll go on to the larger portions in the back and see if uh, we can have better results but so it's down a volt just from this little bit so I think it's draining pretty fast it's sounding kind of tired so all right I think she's starting to die I've only been around a couple times here on this back piece and She's sounding pretty, pretty tired. Not pushing as well. And this grass isn't nearly as thick, nor as tall, nor as wet. And it's not leaving little bunches, so I think it's going into the bag. But it is uh, definitely getting tired. Okay, it's getting down to the end of this. this is the last of my lawn, but it is just not wanting to cut gotten a lot quieter <laughs> it's not moving near as fast and you can really hear it when I go to start it see if I can do this one hand so if I hold the button in oh yeah she just doesn't want to start it's still cutting but it's really 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 bad so after doing the back I'm at 33 volts 33.1 so She's kind of had a good go, and I think for the most part, there's some things I really like about it, and there's some things that uh, I need to do some changing on. One is this cable right here. Every time I go to change, this is always hitting it. I don't like that. Um, this feature here I really like, because you can raise and lower the whole lawnmower in one fell swoop. So 
that's a good feature. Not bad for 120 bucks. 125, I think, is what I paid for it. So now we'll get ready to do the mod. I'm gonna plug it back in and look at that, the voltage is climbing again. It's like it's sitting and it's just trying to normalize. That's all right. We're gonna pull those out and fill that box with lithium ion. We'll see how that goes.